Hi, my name is Patrick, but you can call me 26. And what we're going to do today is we are going to talk about the match transition source, which is new with um, iOS 18. And um, I'm currently working on Xcode 16 beta one, and we're going to see how it works, right? And what it is, it's, it essentially gives us the ability to perform the, what are described as the match geometry effect across different views, right? So, um, match geometry required you to be in the same view but now we can uh we can use the match geometry effect across multiple views for example in a navigation stack right so for example if we select this we could go to the destination view this is us going to the destination view like so and we could dismiss it by just doing that right so it allows us to actually have um the match geometry transition uh, match geometry effect across different views in a navigation stack. So let's see how that would work. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create um, a struct for the symbol. Now the symbol is just going to contain two things. It's going to contain the ID and we're going to use the name of the SF symbol as its ID, right? So this is going to be symbol like so symbol and this is going to conform to identifiable because of course we're going to use it in a list in a bit and we're going to say hashable also, right? We come here and we're just going to say var ID and the ID is going to be a string so that you can uh, conform to identifiable. And then we're going to have the color. So var color, color is going to be a type of color, right? Like so, right? To do is we want to come to our content view and create a bunch of symbols. And we're just going to say let symbols. And this is going to be an array. So we say let symbols. And this is going to be this, like so, right? And we're just going to come here and we're just going to say um, this is going to be filled with symbol, uh, symbol, like so symbol and the symbol we're going to want the symbol here and this is going to be heart dot circle like so the color is going to be let's say it's going to be blue like so then we're going to put a comma command d this is going to be um we want it to be red and then this is going to be um crown dot fill we could say crown dot fill like so dot fill and then we come here do this this is going to be let's say this is going to be um purple and what we want here is going to be um hundred raised dot circle like so and uh we come down do this after this is going to we're going to have um let's say yellow like so this is going to be uh snowflake dot circle come here say snowflake dot circle like so and this is going to be yellow then we come here and say another one is going to be sun dot horizon sun dot horizon dot circle like so and this one is going to be dot uh let's say dot brown like so and maybe we add one more um Command D, and this is going to be something like, um, let's say, um, flag dot pattern dot checkered dot circle, right? And the color in question is going to be, um, I don't think we have done orange, right? So let's do orange, right? So now we have all our colors there, and there are two things we need. We need um, the namespace animation, right? And um, and then we also need to put it on the matched, uh, the match transition source, right? So we need to tell it. But before we do that, let's create the destination. And we could come down here and put the destination. And we're just going to have struct. And this is going to be called destination, like so. And this is going to be a view. And we hit this. And we come here. And what we want, it's going to take in two things. It's going to have um, var symbol. And symbol is going to be a type of that and then you're going to say var animation and animation is going to be the namespace dot ID like so right and what you're going to have here is just have um, the image like so and the image the system name can be gotten from the symbol uh, can be gotten from the symbol dot ID that's going to be that the font is going to be um, dot system uh, dot system. We say the size here is going to be something like two hundred and fifty, uh, and 
the weight is going to be uh, black, which is the heaviest, right? And then after that, uh, the foreground style, foreground style, foreground style, and this is going to be um, symbol, symbol, okay, not sub view, but it's going to be symbol dot color, and we could put the gradient, right? So that's going to be that. And then now where the magic happens is we come here and we say dot navigation, navigation transition, right? So navigation transition, we could come here and we say dot and it's going to be automatic, right? So th th there are two options. One is automatic and the other one is going to be zoom, right? So let's say automatic and then we can switch to zoom, right? So that's all we need for our destination. And what we need to do now is just present it as a list, right? So we could come back here to the content view and in the content view, what we want to do is say something like at state like so, and this is going to be var selected and this is going to be the symbol. What we want to do is we're going to have the list and here we are going to have our symbols and this is going to be symbols like so from up there. The ID is going to be, um, we're just going to say dot self like so. And then you're going to come here and in the closure, we are going to say symbol in, and we're just going to use buttons, right? We come here and we say we want a button and the button here we could say for the action, we're just going to say um, selected, selected is going to be symbol, right? like so and then for the label we could come here and this is going to be the image is going to be system name system name is going to be symbol dot id right that's going to be that and um we could come here and we say we wanted to have a foreground style foreground style this is going to be um symbol dot color dot gradient right and then after that the font we could say something like is going to be dot system size is going to be let's say 60 like so right and that's going to be that and then after that we can now add the matched transition source do is going to be the match transition so we come here and we say matched transition like so and for this we say we need the symbol and this is going to be symbol dot id in and the um and we haven't created the names. Have we created the animation? Let's just come here and we say this is going to be at. I thought we had namespace, and this is going to be var animation, right? And this is going to be that. And we're just going to say in, and in particular, this is going to be animation, right? animation like so right now the next thing we would want to do is um we would need to present a sheet and we're going to put a sheet here and for the sheet we're going to have the item in question is going to be dependent on the selected whatever you have selected and what we want to do is we could say here uh we want the symbol so we come here and say symbol in and we're just going to call our destination view now our destination and it requires a symbol and what do you know we have a symbol here and the animation in question is just going to be the animation right so we do that and that should be everything we need and we could try it out so we could select this and you get this right you get this here and you can dismiss it come here and that's going to be that and that right so that's how it's supposed to be but now when you want it to look a bit better instead of automatic right like we have here that's what it usually is what we want to do is say zoom and for the zoom the source id is going to be symbol dot id and the namespace in question is going to be animation right and if we do that now you're going to see it come out like this and we can push it back see so we get the animation the nice animation and that's what it looks like right so currently there's only one option maybe there'll be more this is just um i'm on xcode version 16 beta 1 there might be more right so right now this is the only one available right so you can see uh the difference between taking the um the way it usually is with the sheet and this um zoom animation right so that is that 
and that's a great feature we can now have the um essentially the match geometry effect across uh views in a navigation stack right so we have access to that across views in a navigation stack and that's a good move forward